Welcome back. Let's play some more 10 minute games on our favorite uh, 10 minute website, Shogi Wars, or 10 minute Shogi game website. Good luck. All right. Lately, I've been resolving that, you know, I want to try this static work thing and see if I can get the hang of it at all. Um, so that's what we're doing here. One thing I've learned from last uh, time is that after taking here, dropping the rook all the way back is not a bad idea. Um, but yeah, I don't have a full understanding of everything here. Um, hmm. Interesting. Alright, I'm playing with fire a little bit because I don't remember everything about this. Um, here we go. Is it too late to build this shape? Perhaps it is. So... I thought this was okay. Maybe it's not. Either way, I'm deeply confused, but either this is okay or this is not okay. One of those two is the truth. Um, but either way, I'm quite confused as to where we are. If I drop a pawn and if we exchange and they redrop, I can take back. I'm going to resist this pawn wedge. Whether or not this actually works out, I don't know. Um, I think I can resist it, right? So, this is a super bizarre move order for building the fortress. Okay, and then we evict the silver and play normally, I guess, whatever that means. If I drop a pawn, if we exchange and then my rook, go well, actually I could take with the bishop, but I want my rook to take because it can swing all the way over here. Oh boy, but if my rook goes there... They can put uh, no. I think this just tactically wins. Um, so I'm threatening a pawn drop, which is difficult to meet. Yeah, so they guard against my one threat here, but I can drop a pawn right there, and it's not so easy for them to hold on. So I think this is right, but I'm not sure. If I push, they take it, and I've got nothing. Um, if I take here, they exchange bishops, and again, I've got nothing. Oh, and all these lines, I have nothing, because they can just drop a pawn to surround my pawn. So, all my Enough. cleverness amounts to nothing here. Um, well, that's humbling. Should have done bishop takes. Well, now we know, but it's too late now. 
So now what? All right, so yeah, I can take back with my bishop now. This leads to tactics, um, deeply uncomfortable tactics, because they drop here and they win my silver. So we don't do that. Um, instead. <sighs> If I take there and then they drop a rook here, how much trouble am I in? I don't know. None of this is working. It's time for me to bail and just try to play a normal strategy. Yeah. Yeah. So, there's my king. I'll have other chances this game. Yeah, that's kind of the idea, is that I'll get something for my pawn. It's not what I wanted, but it'll do. Um, it'll have to do. I blocked my bishop, because I don't know whether or not opening this file or something like that is just ridiculous, so... I don't really have a concept as to what to do here. I could push the edge. That could be fun. But yeah, I've activated my silver. My bishop's kind of active. My rook's active. Their rook is active. They've moved a knight prematurely. Unless somehow tactically that all works out. But I don't see how it does. Um... Go mm hmm Oh, how much dissonance do I want to cause myself here? Clearly, I don't understand this. Yep, yep, so that's the obvious next move in the attack. I take it. Now I push fa pawn 5-5, five five, or I don't know what. I mean, this looks as reasonable as anything, but my silver is going to... Well, they can't immediately kick the silver. Yeah, I don't know. I've got three minutes, they've got eight, or seven and a half. Hmm. 
I'm just paranoid because I don't usually play this castle. So I'm a bit concerned that I'm misplaying this defense. And Some... if I misplay it, I don't even know how bad this gets. Um, I mean, so far I don't think I've messed it up too terribly. But give it time. They're going to drop a pawn here. This pawn drop doesn't stop that pawn drop. Nope. All right. Um, no, if I retreat, I'm a target. All right. I'm calling your bluff. Checkmate me now. Ah, uh, this is the way you attack. Right. That makes, well, that's... In principle makes sense. In practice, maybe not. Um, I have no idea. No freaking clue. This night capture can't be right. But, like, what am I supposed to do? I've got a silver in hand, and I want to attack down this file again. But, I don't know. I don't want to activate their bishop. I want to use my rook. My rook could go back to the center file, but then it becomes a target for the knight. My bishop's not active. Incredible. It's a bold move, sir. Um... Okay. Not sure what to do. This is uncomfortable. Hmm, I'm in check. That's not good. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that doesn't look good at all. All right. Thanks for the game. Well, now we know. That's what happens if you mess it up. Let's keep playing. Good luck.
What's their point? I don't see it. What's my point? What am I doing? Okay, I'm going to pretend that the bishop's head is my target. Maybe it is. Okay. Like a hot knife into butter? Am I missing something? I mean, sure, they could open the diagonal, but I thought that was okay. Right! I was going to take back here. This recapture... I don't know if it works or not. Um, Probably should have figured that out before going into this line. Gosh darn it. I thought I had something for once. It'd be nice if my attacking ideas worked. Um, okay, what can I do? I was certain I had something here. All right, we retreat. We retreat and die. And it's going to be okay. We play this so we can learn. And we learn the most from losing. So I guess our objective is to lose a lot. I don't know. It's like I can't switch this overnight and have everything completely work all of a sudden. Why isn't the game that easy?
5分Okay, let's use our silver somewhere else. Like, we know where this is going, and we're going there anyway. Admittedly, this is pretty ridiculous, exchanging to get a pawn this way. Uh, cause, yeah, that was the one file where I had, well, they are gonna have a clear breakaway here. On the other hand, like, this rook can't stay here. Um... All right, I activate my rook. Something. So the issue point keeps moving down my end of the board. Uh, it's pretty clear my position's being overrun, but I get to do the same tactic I got to do earlier this game, so I guess we'll celebrate that, I guess. Um, Well, there's a new tactic. Um, sure, I guess. Let everything catch on fire at once here, I guess. Yeah, that's obvious enough. And then my castle collapses, but I get a rook. I don't know. Or they dodge. Mm -hmm. Um. I have no idea how to play this. Let's 
try to activate my rook, maybe? It's not going anywhere, but... Okay. Um... Hmm. All my stuff is hanging. I'll attack your silver, I guess? I don't know. What am I supposed to do? We trade here. Got another fork. Try not to die. Oh, gosh darn it. I missed a tactic. Maybe I'll have a different tactic here in just a second if they're careless. Hmm. Probably not. I missed my one tactic this game. That was my chance to re-enter the game. Now I just die. I might not be winning this. Maybe not. Jubio. All right, I'll resign. Thanks for the game. All right, two down, one to go. Good luck.
Alright, this time we got Gota, so we're not going to play Static Rook again. You know, let's just play what they play. This works, right? Openinged. Yep. I've been there. I've been there too many times. So this time I'm on the other side of it, it seems. Now I need to be careful not to also get openinged. Hmm. This is not so simple. I think I've already messed up because this pawn is hanging. We'll have to study this afterward to see how it is that, like, I'm not... Something about this isn't quite right. Knight takes, bishop takes, silver takes, rook takes... So our opponent has counterplay. Um, knight takes pawn drop, takes, takes, and I run, which is fine. Silver takes, exchange. Well, I mean, they're going to exchange twice here no matter what. So let's do the one where I don't get pinned. So I don't have to worry about reading out all the pin variations, because it all resolves to the same when they exchange twice here. They will exchange twice here, because otherwise they don't profit at all from this. Like, yeah, they could take this silver, but there's no advantage there. At least not that I see. I'm still disappointed that, like, this... I've been on the other side of this opening, and it's been far more painful than what I'm delivering to my opponent here. So I've messed something up. Okay... If I take, they get a lance in the corner, and they've gotten three pieces for one.
7分This dragon is too scary. I can't allow it to be around my camp. That said, this line is not great for me either. So yeah, I've thoroughly effed this. Let's promote over here. So at least we get something. Okay, let's try to activate my horse this way. Oh, and my rook, come to think of it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to make a guess here, but I'm not sure about this guess. So the immediate threat maybe is to take the knight here, but that doesn't seem right. It seems like I need to have some different approach. Just because, like, the taking the knight and then taking the silver and then dropping the silver here to hit the gold. Maybe the attack does have enough attackers. It just doesn't feel like it does. But maybe it actually has enough. I mean, it's a, an attack of two pieces against their entire castle plus the horse. That doesn't seem right. Go for Um, strange. So I can repel that. Alternatively, maybe I take it if I'm crazy. I'm not quite that crazy. But I really don't want to confine my rook. All right. Well, we're confining the rook. I don't want to do that at all, but 
seem not to have too much choice. This knight is still pinned, so if they do something crazy with this knight, I take this horse. Okay, they reinforce this castle. Um, I block their horse and I attack this. All right, they defend. I play an extremely provocative move. Um, we'll see if their knight takes here, in which case maybe I start gunning down their lance again. Uh, they don't. I don't see what they're doing. Okay, my king is in too much danger here. My king is in far too much danger here. So we're going to try to run the king, even though it has basically nowhere to run. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Well, this is going to suck for a while. Um, possibly I just get made it in the center of the board. But yeah, after getting openinged and middle gamed, there's one phase of the game remaining. Um... Arguably, if their knight moves, maybe I promote my bishop here, and I'm hitting this. Maybe that's some um, saving grace. Maybe that's what's had them stop and think so many times. It's that they didn't want to see that, but now they have to figure it out. I didn't want to see knight takes pawn because, like, this horse and knight look terrifying, but what can I do? I can run. I can only run so far at once. All right. You call the shots. Why not? Nifu.
Uh, this point is still weak. Shit. They have a gold drop. I didn't think about that. Um. Oh. Yes, please. Yes, I will run. Just give me time. Give me all the time in the world and I'll run as far as you want me to run. Um... Sanjubio That must be upsetting. Thanks for the game. Indeed. Yeah, the opponent got opening. I got middled gamed. And so, poetic justice would declare um, things would only swing the other way for a dramatic storyline. Well, yeah, that was exciting. We barely survived against a 3Q. Um, I'm sure they're working on uh, ranking up, as are we all. So, that was an exciting series. Hope you enjoyed these games. Thanks for watching.